Hi everybody and welcome to a pickups video and I've got a few pieces of cod now we've been about nine o'clock in the morning I'm not talking about the fish I'm not talking about the battered fish that you get from a fish and chip shop no we're talking games for my collection and I've picked up picked up a few um, I've also picked up a few other little bits a couple of Commodore 64 and one PSP game so what have I been buying then well recently I bought a bundle of Commodore 64 games I paid £50 for the bundle I'll see if I can let me try and get the original listing on I should have done this before I started recording see original listing so there we go well the camera focusing on it those nine games there and the really the decent games those for the Commodore 64 um, Wonder Boy is probably the most common game there um, which will become relevant in a minute but yeah um, some decent games on there and I bought the bundle for £50 now obviously I, I bought them to sell on now when I got the bundle, obviously I, I will I will go through them. I, I always clean them up, give them a bit of a sanitizer with a bit of uh, a wipe, with one of those uh, sanitary wipes. I use these. Um, those at the minute. Um, I, I found them a couple of packs of them really cheap in a local like outlet shop. Um, they're not really meant for cleaning cassettes and stuff, but they do the job. That's the main thing, the more of a, a sterilising way. So yeah, when I got the bundle, um, I realised that two of them I actually needed. So the first one, part of the Kicks subset, we've got Rick Dangerous. Um, I ain't got a I ain't got a ring light going at me. I'm just relying on natural light from outside. Uh, so it might be a bit dark looking at that yeah Rick Dangerous on the Commodore 64 under the Kicks label um, funnily enough yesterday I was photographing them and putting them on eBay and I'd actually photographed this I started the listing and I, went, I don't know why it just, I thought I don't know a minute I better just check that I haven't got it and I am <laughs> so I uh, I've cancelled the listing, deleted the photos, and in my collection this is going. Rick Dangerous. Uh, fun little platformer. I think it's more more famous on the Amiga. It's uh, linked more to the Amiga than, than the Commodore 64. It looks it looks good on the Amiga, obviously. Better graphics, more colours. Um, but I think the C64 version holds up quite well. I'm pretty sure I've played the C64 version, but it's the Amiga one that I always I always remember. And the other one, out of that bundle, uh, is in its squad. And it's Stallone Rambo 3. So pleased to have this one. Um again I, I like I said when I bought the bundle I didn't really I didn't really think too much about what I'd already got. I looked at everything. I'm not collecting codes. I'm not collecting Mastertronic. I'm not collecting software projects. Uh, I'd got Jaws and US Basket Master already on the alternative range. Already got R-Type um, and Wonder Boy. So, um, yeah, I didn't really take too much notice. It's only since I've got the bundle and then I realised, yeah, I need these these two. Stallone Rambo 3. I've never played this. I don't know if they're the Commodore screenshots. If they are it looks a bit bit naff. I don't know uh, what kind of game it is. Those those look they look like Spectrum graphics to me but I don't know. I've ne never played the game so I, I, I couldn't honestly tell you. Um. Now, as well as the COD collection, oh sorry I'm, I'm, I'm veering off, so 
that bundle for £50. Um, my intentions were to sell them all for like £10 a piece, which would have given me £90, £40 profit. I reckon I could I could easily sell all those. I've, I've looked them up on eBay and um, other than Wonder Boy, the the other games there's not there's not many on eBay, if any at all. So but obviously I'm keeping two so I would make I'd only make £20 profit but I have put now I want to game Nutcracker up for £20 um, because that's not coming up on eBay at all. I think it is quite a quite an hard to find software projects game. Um R type surprisingly um I think there were only one other on on eBay when I listed it yesterday at 12 99 so yeah I've, I've, I've put that at a tenner so I'm, I'm pretty confident I'll sell that Seymour uh, I've sold today Seymour goes to Hollywood the Codemasters game uh, I sold that this morning uh, ten pound so yeah going's good at minute if I can sell Nutcracker for 20 then then that you know will will counteract one of those games I'm keeping um, but yeah if I sell them all for £10 then I'm gonna be happy I've made a little bit of profit I know I'm not making a great deal but it is what it is um, I wasn't expecting those two games to be to be keeping to be honest but never mind so as I said um, besides the COD collection I also collect Medal of Honor and one game that I needed I haven't actually got a list of these you see but I know I, just, I definitely know I haven't got this um, and this is Medal of Honor Heroes it's a PSP game and this is the Platinum release so I do need the, the, the original release of it Heroes I think it's a, a little bit dear I think this wrong something like $4.99 or something. It won't, it won't very, it won't very dear. Um, it's complete. We've got a, a sticker there. I don't think I'm going to get that. I'm not even attempting that. Um, the what a, an orange sticker there. That came off easy enough. Um, it's cleaned up. Cleaned up all right. I've never played this one. <coughs> Probably the only Medal of Honor I had played. And I did have a PSP at one, one time. So, I'll probably never get to play it now, but it, there you go. Um, Medal of Honor, here, oh, I've, I've written them down, because uh, £3.86, that were including postage. So, can't go wrong with that, happy with that. Um, so, on to COD. On to COD, got four games. I've been, uh, last month I, I, I hit the COD collection hard. Got a few titles then, mainly for the PC. Um, pretty similar today, really. Um, because yeah, I've, I've neglected the COD collection for a while, particularly the games. And I've said myself now each month I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a few COD games. Some COD games actually uh, are creeping up in price a bit. Unnecessarily, I I think. Um, you know what my memory's like. Off the top of me, I can't think. But when I was looking through eBay the other day, looking at titles that I've not got, I know some some titles were coming up at like twenty odd pound. You know, for a COD game, like on PS3 or Xbox 360, which I think is a little bit steep, considering the amount that there is. You know. And I'll keep speaking about it, but you know, if people seem to start thinking that COD's rare, get a grip, because they're really not. Right, let's start with Xbox. OG. Xbox OG. Call of Duty, Finest Hour. Um pretty sure I've got this on PS2. Um, but yeah, Xbox original. I put them all in these protective sleeves. I'm not gonna get them out, they're all complete. Um yeah, I, I'm sure that's right. I must have played this, I must have done, on the PS2. 
Are they on PS2? Anyway. <laughs> that's some, sometimes I start, I start... Oh, I think I overthink things and start doubting myself about stuff. When, it, when it's just plain and simple. The answer's plain and simple to my own questions. And then I start overthinking and then... I think to myself, is this on PS2? Of course it's on PS2, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> Xbox. Call of Duty. Finest Tower. Um, this is back when it was World War II related. Um, happy to have that. I don't think there's many titles for the Xbox original. Call of Duty. Don't know if there's a classics version or something like that for, um, for it. I'm pretty sure there'll be like a platinum version for the PS2. But I'm not sure. Uh, next. The old Mac. Apple Mac. This is Call of Duty United Offensive. This is the expansion pack. Um, yeah, I've got. I've already got a couple of Mac titles. I may even, I may even have it complete now. Saying that, I keep thinking I've got the PC complete, and then there's loads of cover variants. Loads of them. Uh, Never been on an Apple Mac, never played on an Apple Mac. I don't know how to compare to a, you know, a PC. Uh, are they faster? Are they, are they better? I don't know. Something I've never, never done, played on a Mac. Bit of eBay going on. <laughs> it's not a ka-ching though. <laughs> it's a ka-ching we want. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Resident Evil 6 uh, sealed. I've, I've got into I've got into buying sealed game. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm buying them, buying sealed games, and I'm putting a maximum price in like five pound. Um, I'm trying to buy really cheap sealed games, and this is a bit of speculation. But I'm hoping that you know in a few years or maybe accumulating price. Um, I've started doing that. I don't know if it's uh, if it's another one of my, you know, um, ventures that's failed, uh, destined to fail. Um, but no doubt it will be. <laughs> but yeah, I just I don't know. I just I do these stupid things. Don't I? Anyway, we're moving on to PC. Oh, I've only got one PC. Anyway, PC. Again, this is a this is a variation. I've already got God knows how many Call of Duties. This is the deluxe version, but it's also the best of Activision. This contains two Call of Duty Game of the Year and Call of Call of Duty United Defensive Offensive. Christ above. Um, you know that one, what I've just shown you. Uh, but this is on this is on PC. And like I said, it's a cover variant. Um, so yeah, again wrapped up, it's complete, I've checked it. And then lastly, I'm going to the Xbox 360. This is Call of Duty 3 on the Classics label. So, yeah, Call of Duty, I, I always remember Call of Duty 3. This sticks out more than most COD games because I always, you know how we have, or we used to do, when you had a, um, like say for instance the Commodore 64, we had a leap from 8 bit to 16 bit and it was noticeable, you could tell, you could tell a, you know, an Amiga game over a Commodore 64 game without, without fail, um, you know, and from from the Amiga, the leap to, uh, let's say, PlayStation, it was noticeable. PlayStation 2 from PS1 was noticeable. And I think that the PS3, the leap in graphics from PS2 was a giant leap, in my opinion. I honestly believe that, and that's why it always stands out for me. And I always remember seeing Call of Duty 3 for the PS3, uh, looking on the back at the graphics, um, 
you know, thinking, wow, old graphics are amazing. Which they were at the time, you know, compared to what, what we already had. You know, is it, I know I'm venturing off topic here, away from pickups, but is there, was there much of a difference? Was there much of a leap from PS3 to PS4? And as for the PS4 to the PS5, forget it. I don't see any. I don't see any leap. If there is a leap, it's minuscule. And this is the thing, this is why I've, um, I have said, I've probably said it before, but PS5 is the last next gen console I'll be buying. I won't buy anymore. No point. There's just nothing. The PS5 library is basically, I, I, would, I would guess, I would say 80% of it is just re-released PS4 games. Um, so what 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 could a PS6 offer over the PS5? I don't know. I don't think it can. You know, we're supposed to have the PS5 supposed to be capable of all these trillions of triangles or not not polygons no more. Are they? The, the triangles, I think, and um, ray tracing. I don't even know what that is, if I'm honest. I know it's something to do with lighting, um, but it, it's it's just to me it's insignificant over over a PS4 game, over a PS4 comparison. Um, put them side by side, all right. Maybe maybe you'll notice. But at the moment, I know I haven't played a lot of PS5 games, but from what I've seen on YouTube videos, they just they're just not any better than PS4. Anyway, that's a little rant, little rant over. And that is my pickups for, well, for, for all of August now because. What date are we on? 30th, so it was only one more day. Um, so yeah, I won't be doing another pickups in August. Though I have got quite a few more games coming, but some are those sealed games, like I said, as, as part of speculate to accumulate <laughs> uh, all these silly ideas this this time next year I'll be a millionaire <laughs> that's what I've been saying I'm like I'm like Del boy me that's what I've been that's what I've been like for years even as a even as even as a young'un I'm always thinking of ways to, to try and make money uh, and it never works I'm just not a business minded person Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in September. <laughs> but take care. Bye for now. Oh, I'm, I'm pinching Retro Bears uh, exit there. That's not my usual one, is it? <laughs> right, everybody. Thank you for watching and see you later. Oh, before you go, <laughs> let, let me tell you this. Let me show you this. So, as I've said, I've been searching for sealed games. Um, and I found a PS2 sealed game. I put it under, obviously it came up under uh, sealed video games. So I bought, I bought this, Socom, on the PS2. Um, and I got it and I'm like, that's not sealed. <laughs> and then I realised the title is read Navy Seals. So the, the eBay search just picked that up and just plonked it in with all all the other uh, searches of sealed video games. Um, I didn't look. I didn't look. I didn't, I, there was even a picture with it opened up showing you the manual the disc. Um, yeah, yeah. What an idiot! What an idiot! 